Did you know the first Shogun of Japan reportedly loved tempura so much that he died from eating too much of it? Of course, this is probably a bit of an exaggeration, but I pose the question, isn't it a better way to die eating tempura than being gored in battle? Mm -hmm. G'day Gastromites and welcome to History of a Dish, where we give you a quick lowdown on the national dish of the day. Today we're celebrating a way of cooking that originally came from Europe, but the Japanese made into their own. Tempura. Tempura is a Japanese dish usually consisting of seafood or vegetables that have been battered and deep fried. The dish was influenced by fritter cooking techniques introduced by the Portuguese residing in Nagasaki in the 16th century. The name tempura originates from a Latin phrase which refers to the ember days, during which no meat is consumed. The Japanese have a unique ability to take foreign food and modify it to Japanese tastes, creating something totally new and original, and tempura is a prime example. Tempura was introduced around the commercial port city of Nagasaki in the 1600s by the Portuguese missionaries. At the time, Japan was closed off from the rest of the world. Its only contact was through Portuguese, Dutch and Chinese traders and missionaries in the port city. The name Tempura comes from the Latin ad tempora quaresme, which means in the time of Lent. The Japanese mistook this as the dish's name and called it tempura. The frying technique of tempura was something wholly new to Japan. Unlike most countries on earth, there had never been a tradition of frying food. Even though neighboring China had always had fried dishes and much of its culinary culture had come to Japan centuries earlier, somehow frying food had never caught on. Originally, tempura was made of balls of minced meat, vegetables and fish. Somewhere around the 18th century, Japanese chefs experimented with frying fish and vegetables whole. Here is when the snack became truly Japanese. There is a strong tradition in Japan of eating food that's fresh and left in its natural state. When chefs began frying vegetables and fish whole, preserving their unique tastes and character, it became a truly Japanese food. This is also when tempura went from a between meal snack to a meal in itself rest, as they say, is culinary history. Next up, it's time to take a closer look at the history of the English toffee. Have a fantabulous day, be safe and eat hard. <laughs>